Okay guys, we're out in the outdoor kitchen here in the patio area in the pavilion. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate to you how we do pizzas. So currently at the weekends, Dave, our baker, um, has sourdough pizzas on the menu, which you can have in the glass house. And why not come up on a Saturday, Sunday, chill out and have a couple of glasses of wine here with us. So what I'm going to demonstrate is the technique that we use to make the pizzas. And I'm also going to use one of our uni pizza ovens that we have up here as well. So the first thing, the most important thing in pizza, obviously, is the, the dough. So Dave, our baker, does a slow ferment in our doughs, which breaks down the gluten, um, which actually makes it easier to digest. So believe it or not, it's actually better for your system to have a slow proofed pizza. Uh, so we're going to start off with our pizza ball like this. So most people at home when they're making pizzas, they, they roll them out with a rolling pin, which is kind of the easy way to do it, but I kind of want to show you the proper way. The pizza ball is full of air and you want to keep as much air as you possibly can in the pizza ball. If you roll it with a rolling pin you force all the air out so then what happens is when you bake your pizza you don't get a nice crust. So the proper technique is to use your fingers and it's to press all the air out to the edge as much as you can. Once you've pressed it out as far as you can then you're going to lift it up and then you're going to get your left, I'm, I'm right handed, so your left hand and you put your knuckle in and then you just naturally let the weight of the dough fall and just give it a slight help along like this. And what I'm trying to do here is keep as much air in the pizza as I possibly can and it's beginning to stretch naturally. If you try and rush this, it'll, it'll tear. So now I'm, I'm pinching the edges, spinning it around and the pizza is actually getting bigger whilst keeping all the air in it. If you're new to making pizzas, just start off with a small one, don't go straight for a, a big one. Learn to walk before you run. All right. Next thing you wanna do is put the pizza onto the paddle. In professional pizza restaurants, they'll actually build the pizza and then slide the paddle underneath. If you don't have a proper marble table at home, it's quite difficult. So I find it easier just to get the dough and put it directly onto the paddle like this, okay? Give the edge one last press. Again, we're looking to keep all that air in. So what we're gonna do now is this is a little twist. Instead of having like a tomato sauce, we've got some freshly chopped tomatoes which will kind of burst and roast in the oven. It's a little bit healthier as well. You're going to get more texture. We've got some black olives, which I'm just going to put around. We've got some nice smoked chorizo. And the idea with these pizza ovens is to put one even layer of toppings. Don't try and pile it up because it's going to be very hard to get it in and out of the pizza oven. And then we've got a selection here of cheeses. We've got some smoked mozzarella, uh, regular mozzarella and we've got a little bit of parmesan so we have three different types of cheeses so just lay them on top and the reason you want the cheese on top is it's going to grill and caramelize in the uni oven the cheese then will melt down to all the toppings and kind of hold hold it all together so I've got my oven on full wax so I'm going to slide it in So after about 30 seconds, you're going to find that the back of the pizza cooks first because your flame's at the back. So we're going to give it a, a full turn and put it back in. And every 30 seconds, take it out and just keep an eye on it. Let's give it another turn. And what we're looking for are these little black spots that's called leoparding. If you get that on your crust, it's a really, really good crust. There we go, done. So guys, just to show there, I've sliced into the pizza so you can see all the air bubbles and that's because we pressed it by hand. If you use a rolling pin, you won't get the same crust on it. So hopefully you might try it at home and enjoy. Mm -hmm.